So the background to the property, we purchased it about three and a half, four years ago. Um, we wanted to start to set up a fully self-sustainable or a sustainable property as we could. Um, we got five kids, so we wanted to teach them about, I guess, you know, just making the right footprint and doing as much as you can, um, and hence the name Footprints Farm. Have that ethos and you go the whole way rather than bring in your normal traditional builds. And I guess for us it's about what's our legacy going to be and what are we teaching the kids and um, just that continually to think outside the square, what is our footprint, um, yeah what do we want our legacy to be and it came back to reducing your footprint so the shipping containers made sense. Definitely the transition to containers um, was more economical than traditional build. So we used 14 containers all up, 13 20 foot containers and one 40 foot container. The design's really simple. When you put two 20 foot containers together, it actually makes a fantastic size room. It's more than enough for, you know, kids, well, whether they be teenagers and they don't really play anymore or whether in the future there's grandkids and they've got Lego spread out all over the ground. And so like it's, it, the containers just work. I'm not sure. It's just as functional as it. It's so simple yeah, that it's I think functional. It's, yeah, I think the simplicity makes it functional. And it was, it kind of just organically came together. Like it wasn't, we didn't even really overthink. Like it no. made sense. We put two containers together. There's a bedroom cut the hallway into the back. So, I mean, as you can see, you've got pretty much four spaces that are carbon copies of each other. And One's a media room and three are bedrooms, but it's just the right amount of space and it just works. If you get that part right, the planning part right, the actual coming together has been really, really, really cool and actually really efficient, like really efficient. So it's been, um, been mind blowing. And look, the good thing about containers is if it flogs down rain, we've got an automatic ceiling. <laughs> so we can be working on the inside. So as far as picking container traders and the modifications, um, I went out to about six, probably to eight different um, container mobs um, all around Australia. Container traders, in as far as give credit where credit's due, Lachlan was freaking amazing. Um, as far as his attention to detail, just being receptive to like, wow, owner builders trying to do this on this scale and things like that. And we're, we're not overly price focused. What we expect is um, service and help. And that's what was offered. So the cho that choice was actually relatively easy. He followed us up when I hadn't made a decision. Was there anything more we can do? Where are you up to? He was one of the very few that um, actually did that and actually did it really professionally. And we both run our own businesses and have done for a long time. So when someone treats me like that, that goes a long way to selecting are they gonna be involved or not. So it actually wasn't a hard call. Container Traders, more than containers.